everyone, my name is Ellie. I teach sewing and crafts at the library and today I'm going to show you how to sew your own shoelaces so you can put your best foot forward in the new year. Let's get started. For this project you will need bias tape that's the same width as your shoelaces. Um, if you haven't already seen it, I have a video on how to make your own bias tape so you can check that out. You also need a ruler, fabric scissors, um, some kind of pen or pencil, some clear nail polish, and then a sewing machine and an iron and ironing board. I started by making quarter inch bias tape and then um, I cut two pieces that were the same length as my shoelaces and then just did a straight stitch all the way down with my sewing machine. So next we need to finish the ends. So if you look at store-bought um, shoelaces, the little plastic or metal end here is called the aglet. This just keeps the shoelace from fraying. So we can um, pretty easily make one at home. So you're going to take your ruler and line the edge of your shoelace up with the edge of the ruler and then make a mark at a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then you're gonna make another mark a half an inch away from the first mark. Okay, so next you're going to fold the end of your shoelace in half and take this to your ironing board and give this a good press. And you wanna make sure that you're ironing um, about two inches or so. Um, it'll just make it easier to do the next step. So I'm gonna take this to my iron. I have my shoelace ironed in half and I make sure I can still see the marks. So then take the same thread that you use to sew your shoelace together and cut a piece that's about three feet long. And then you want to tie this in a knot um, at the bottom notch here. And make sure that you leave um, a pretty long tail. Okay, so I'm going to tie a pretty tight double knot. Okay, and then I'm going to take the tail and hold it up against the shoelace like this so it's pointing off the edge and then I'll take the longer side and I'm just going to start wrapping the thread. So I want to wrap pretty tightly keeping even tension on it and I want to make sure that I'm completely covering the fabric. Um, so it can take a second to get going, but then it'll get easier. And I tend to hold the wraps of thread with my thumb and pointer finger as I go, so I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so we're just gonna keep wrapping until you get to your second mark. I wrapped my string to the end and so now I'm going to tie another double knot.
so as you can see I completely covered the fabric um, I tried not to overlap the thread at all but it's hard to avoid completely so this will be fine okay and now um, I'm going to cut the tails of the thread not completely off you want to leave some string left, but we can cut them shorter than they are now, just so they don't get in the way as much. And then we're also going to cut this fabric off. Um, but make sure, again, that you don't cut any of the threads, but just get as close to them as you can. And now we're going to take our clear nail polish and generously paint it onto the thread. Make sure you completely cover all of the threads and also put a good amount on the end. Okay, now I'm just going to set this off to the side to let it dry. Once it's totally dry, I can cut these tails off. And then you can repeat this for um, your other shoelace. Here are my new shoelaces all laced up on my shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I hope you have fun personalizing your own sneakers, and I will see you next time. Bye!